the Kohlraths law in that application first one calculation of equivalent conductance conductance at infinite dilution for weak electrolyte so this is the first application of kohlraths law so weak electrolyte the weak electrolyte conductance property calculation is very difficult by using kohlraths law we can calculate that is for weak electrolyte generally the weak electrolyte example is weak acid that is acetic acid okay according to kohlraths law so lambda infinity means acetic acid ch3cooh is equals to equivalent conductance of cation and an equivalent conductance of anion means equivalent conductance of acetic acid ch3coh is equals to equivalent conductance of anion ch3coo minus acetate ion and equivalent conductance of proton h plus ion so means the sum of anion and cation is equals to equivalent conductance of that substance okay now this equivalent conductance is calculated by considering of two strong electrolyte in that first one for example this is equation 1 if you consider two strong electrolytes first one is sodium acetate ch3cooh this undergoes dissociation produce one is cation and one is anion so one is cation ch3co minus is this your negative charge anion and next one is na plus cation this is equation 2 and another strong electrolyte is hcl strong acid it is also gives two types of ions one is cation follows anion and next one if we consider these two solutions not only this one if we consider another one here sodium chloride so salt nacl gives na plus cl minus this is equation 4 okay the adding the adding of 2 plus 3 equation 2 and equation 3 is added and subtracting with equation 4 subtracting with equation 4 we will get the final equation is lambda is equals to ch3coo minus plus lambda h plus is equals to ch3co minus plus lambda h plus is equals to lambda ch3cooh so this is a calculation of equivalent conductance at infinity dilution for weak electrolyte means for the calculation of weak electrolyte conductance first you consider two strong electrolytes okay one is sodium acetate and one is hydrogen chloride including with one salt solution so means the sum of the sum of equivalent conductance of cation and anion is equals to equivalent conductance of that solution is called as kohlraths law and now second application is the calculation of ionic mobility the calculation of ionic mobility ionic mobility means second application calculation of ionic mobility mobility means movement the momentum means the moving or the transferring the transfer of ions 
by applying of electric current is called as ionic mobility this ionic mobility mobility is equals to ionic conductance by 1 faraday or this ionic mobility is equals to ionic conductance by 1 faraday means the 1 mole of charge of electrons is called as faraday that faraday fundamental value is 96500 coulombs means ionic mobility is equals to ionic conductance by 96500 coulombs and third one is calculation of degree of dissociation calculation of degree of dissociation this degree of dissociation is denoted with alpha alpha is equals to lambda v by lambda infinitive means degree of dissociation alpha alpha is equals to degree of dissociation lambda v is equals to equivalent conductance at v dilution or vcc solution and next one is lambda infinitive is equals to equivalent conductance at infinite dilution okay means degree of dissociation is may be defined as the ratio between equivalent conductance at v dilution and equivalent conductance at infinite dilution this degree of dissociation is denoted with alpha by using kohlrausch law we can calculate equivalent conductance of solution and next one is another application of kohlrausch law is calculation of sparingly soluble salts means the sum of the salts for example NaCl or KCl these two are easily soluble in water soluble in water so these solutions are not called as sparingly soluble salts for example silver chloride AgCl or lead sulfate PbSO4 or barium sulfate BaSO4 these three salts are insoluble in water insoluble in water by increasing of conductance by increasing of conductance these salts are soluble in water so those salts are called as sparingly soluble salts means in ordinary condition the salts are insoluble in water by applying of conductance by applying of current these salts are soluble so those salts are called as sparingly soluble salts so this generally the sparingly soluble salts is denoted with ksp okay for example if you consider simple example silver chloride agcl Okay. This AgCl is a, undergoes dissociation gives one is cation and one is anion. Ag plus is cation, Cl minus is anion. So now this equation is applicable for equivalent conductance. What happened? Lambda AgCl equivalent conductance of silver chloride is equilibrium with equivalent conductance of Ag plus and 
equivalent conductance of Cl minus. Now, according to law of mass action, law of mass action, if it is your denoted with Ksp, that equal to concentration of product, concentration of product by concentration of reactant, that is the that is the law of mass action. Means Ksp is equal to concentration of product. The concentration of product is the concentration of Ag plus into concentration of Cl minus by concentration of reactant that is silver chloride AgCl. Okay. The sparingly soluble salts conductance property is calculated with the help of Kohlrausch law.